Hey everyone, I put together a spreadsheet to help keeping track of your meet attendance easier so that you can do it by month and you can keep track of all of the students in your groups uh, at the same time in the same spreadsheet. So here's how it works. I have a group of fake names here. I'm going to show you how to get this file with your real students' names first because we need your students' names. All right. First thing you're going to do is go into your Google Classroom. This is my fake Google Classroom here with my fake student names. So I'm going to go to Classwork, to my latest assignment, which I happen to call latest assignment, because up in the top right hand corner in this gear here, I'm going to click it and select download these grades as CSV. It doesn't matter if a student turned it in or not, doesn't matter if it's graded or not. Uh, if you assigned it to your entire classroom, then all of your students' names are going to be in this file. So I'm downloading this as a CSV. I click Save. And then once it's down here, you can see I've already done this tutorial once and messed up. So here's the new one. I'm going to click it and open it up. And you'll see what it looks like. So it's going to be sorted by first, last name, first name, email address, grade assignment, and comments. We don't need the grade assignment and comments right now. All we need is last name, first name, and email address. So I have a fake version of this file with fake names in it. These are randomly generated names. These are not real people. These are not real email addresses. But we're going to use them as if they are our students. So we have last name, first name, email address. Okay, we're going to take these, going to select all the names. You can do that by either clicking the first last name and then by sh holding down the shift key and clicking the last email address that will select everybody. Or you can do the same thing by clicking the first last name and then dragging down to select all of these uh, names and email addresses. Now you need the names and the email addresses. Then we go up to edit, copy. Of course, we could always just hit command C or edit, copy. Now, we need to open up our template. So our template is called the Meet Attendance Template. The Meet Attendance Template has a spot for last name, first name, and email address, as you can see here. But you don't want to overwrite this file. So your first step is to take your template and now save as. You're going to save it as Meet Attendance for five or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to save it as a meet attendance four or five template, not as a month yet, but you'll see meet attendance four or five template save. Now again, I already did this. So I'm going to replace it. Now, since we have these names copied, which is command C or edit copy in our new file, we're going to select the first spot under last name and then paste either command V or edit paste. Command V. So now we have last name, first name, email address. Now we're going to pretend that these are from two different cohorts. In actuality, if you're taking them out of one Google Classroom, they would all be the same cohort, right? So you would have to do this twice and then you would just paste them down at the bottom, the, the second group, and then label that cohort B. Let's pretend for the sake of this, they're all in the same Google Classroom. So I'm going to separate them by cohort. Cohort A is approximately 25 students or so. Cohort B, again, is approximately, oops, I want uh, capital B. Cohort B is approximately 25 students. Doesn't matter. You know what does matter to me, though? It matters to me that they're not in order by last name. Kills me hate it. So I'm going to sort them by last name. You don't have to do this, but if you wanted to, here's how you do it. Remember how we selected that last uh, spreadsheet? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click and drag and make a selection. In this case, we want to make sure that we include the cohort. All right, so that is now selected. All the names to the cohort, not up here, okay? Broom all the way down to cohort B. And even though that one is not highlighted, it is selected. So we're going to go up to data and then sort. We're going to so uh, we have my list has headers. We are going to sort by cohort first so that we keep them in the same cohort. Then we're going to sort by last name. So here we go. There we go. So cohort A is now by last name. 
Cohort B is now by last name. We are ready to save this because we are ready to use this now. So we are going to file, save as, not save, save as, meet attendance for five, December 2020. Now, replace. Now, this is the file that we are going to enter things in on. So now where it says enter month name, I'm going to click that and I'm going to type in instead December 2020. You can save it at this point. This one is savable. So we have December 2020 file, save. Nice. It's labeled. Check this part out, because this, this is the magic. Now that you've set all of this up, okay, you can open up your Meet Attendance 4 or 5 template and save as for every single month. December, January, February, March, April, May, June, uh, and they are ready for you. All you have to do at this point, at the end of a Meet, when you get the email that has the spreadsheet in it that says Meet Attendance Report, you're going to go into the meet attendance report. I have a fake one here using some of the names from the first list. You go into the fake attendance report and find email. Okay, all you have to do is copy all of the email addresses. Command C, copying them. Then going into check-in. And since today is December 2nd, I'm going to paste them into December 2nd. Now let's go back to the first page and see what happened. Look, every student who attended, there we are, every student who attended has an X next to their name. There were 35 total. For example, did Naomi Belts go or Betts? Did Naomi go? Let's see, Naomi's email, Naomi F. Betts. Naomi is not part of this list. She did not attend that meet. But Dorothy, for example, did. Let's find Dorothy here. So next to Dorothy's name is now an X. Those were 35 people. And Dorothy, who's number 43 on this list right here, let's go across and check out number 43. Dorothy has attended one meet this month. Let's do it again. Let's pretend that we have a meet now tomorrow on the 3rd. There's that spot right there. I know that 2 is going over across, but 3 is still empty. Okay, These are still empty. 2 is full. 3 is not. So now I'm going to go back to my fake attendance list too. This one was not as well attended. So I'm going to now... Select, ooh, Naomi made it to this one. I'm going to Command C, copy all of those email addresses, and I'm going to go to three, and then paste them there. Uh, just for fun, what happens on the sixth if you accidentally paste it like way down here? Let's see, okay, you go to the roster. Look at this, attendance for the third. These people attended, only 22 people on this one. Ooh, most of the people up top didn't. Man, that cohort A, everybody missed it on this one. Uh, cohort B, though, Naomi, she went to twice. Once on the third and then once on the sixth. It doesn't matter where you paste it as long as it's under the correct column. So now we see, for example, we've had three meets. Okay, we've had three meets this month so far. I'm going to type up here the number of meets. There were three. And now I'm going to go over to the right hand side and check on a couple of people. Let's see, uh, Nikki, number 32, has been to all of the meets this year uh, or this month. Mike, number 31, has only been to two of them. And then Joseph, number 29, has only been to one. So look what it looks like over here. So 32, she was at all three of the meets at 100%. Okay, 31, he was at only two of the meets for 67%. And then 29, he was at one of the meet, or 33% of the meets for that month. So now, after this month is done, if we have four or five meets, I can tell you exactly who was there, how many times they were there, and what percentage of the meets they were able to attend. I can also tell you, as I'm going down here, which students didn't attend 
any Google Meets. I think that's a fake person. I think in my, in my thing here, here, let's just do it like this. Let's say that Naomi didn't make it to anything. Delete. Delete. Now, Naomi, number 30, over here, has been to zero meets this month. I'm going to have to send an email home. See what's going on. Make sure that they are doing the on-demand work instead. So now I can save it and print it, and my meet attendance for 4 or 5 for December is done. I didn't have to take out a pen or paper after each meet. All I have to do is copy and paste it into this uh, check-in page on the correct day, and everything is kept track for me. If you find it useful, uh, if you have any questions, you can obviously go through this video again or send me an email. Let me know. Thanks.